Hi, this is Johnny Shannon from Sterling Cheer, and I'm here with another two minute tip. This time we're going to be looking at the iterator operator. Um, this operator was introduced with version 16 of Imagine, and it's, as the name implies, it iterates through items off a list and uh, puts the list through a submodel that the user builds within a spatial modeler. Now, in this case, I've uh, built a dark object subtraction uh, model. Um, the idea of a dark object subtraction is that uh, it corrects for atmospheric uh, effects by looking at the darkest pixel within each band and subtracting that value from uh, all the other values within that band and assuming that uh, the dark object uh, accounts only for atmospheric effects, it therefore affects for the uh, corrects for the atmosphere. Um, you may have your own views as to how exactly how valid this uh, this particular model is, but it does provide a nice demonstrator of the iterator. So here's the model. We have our input, um, and that's the only uh, uh, function required. Just your input satellite uh, data. And then we go through, we have a look at uh, how many bands are within uh, that particular data set. Um, we then dynamically create a list of those bands. And so if we were looking at um, Landsat 7, you'd have um, one through six bands. And then we go to our iterator operator. Now the iterator is really just a submodel. And so if we double click on that, it'll open up into the uh, submodel. And here we have our raster input, and here we have our dynamically created list. So within the sub model, what's going to happen is that it'll take uh, band one to start with, um, first band from our list. It'll take the, um, uh, then find the minimum value of band one, and then subtract that minimum value of band one from the rest of the values in band one and output that particular band. Then the list will go to number two, Form exactly the same function three, four, and through and so on through the rest of the bands, and then it'll output a stack of bands uh, corresponding to the number of input bands. So then, if we come back to the main part of the model, we'll then have a series of bands where all of the minimum values have been subtracted, and we output that to a stack layers to put them all back together again, and then that outputs to a new file. So there we have it, a very simple uh, model, which uh, just iterates through a number of bands and performs a function on each of those bands sequentially. Stack layers put them back together and output to uh, our output file, which is now dark object subtraction corrected. Um, of course, you could hook this uh, model up to our top of atmosphere models that are available on uh, either our spatial model uh, site or on the hexagon community site. And uh, that might make things a little bit, a uh, little bit more, um, more atmospherically uh, correct. Uh, we'll see. Um, the, this model will be going up on our uh, on our site as under the resources of the Spatial Model Library. And I hope that uh, if you don't necessarily find the dark objects of traction model useful, then at least the uh, theory behind the iterator will be uh, interesting to you. Um, that's it for this time, and. Uh, Check back uh, next month for another two-minute tip.